Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay Guy back here at Beckley's Camping Center in Thurmont, Maryland. And here we have the 21RS Outback. This was a recent trade-in, just came in last Saturday. Tires on this are 2019 tires, brand spanking new tires. We have an outside kitchen area right here, poles down. You've got the, got the stove over here and a wash sink over there. you got a water outlet right there. 21RS model. Normally with these you see a lot of delamination and wrinkling in the fiberglass cap. You do not see it with this one. Got one little tiny wrinkle right there and that's it. The floors, walls, and ceiling of this one are all solid. They did a good job maintaining this unit. You can see right there on the corner that's a prone spot right there to have an issue and that's been caulked up. It looks like it's got at least two layers of caulk on it so they did a good job maintaining it the way they were supposed to. That's all your outside sewer connections, your 30 amp plug, the bed area. Now a lot of times you see tons of sagging right here underneath. You got a little tiny bit of sagging in the center but uh, still definitely within operational specs. You will need a tail light lens for this corner. Now let's go inside. A lot of times you're going to see soft floors in these units. Soft floors came from two things. One, the floors that they originally put in these units were very thin. I'm 230 pounds, so I notice when there's a soft floor. The other thing that a soft floor can come from is water and moisture that came in because of a leak that wasn't attended to. This is upgraded to a porcelain toilet. Floor is all solid. Very good condition. You got the uh, half sit, half shower tub. Great for kids, dogs, pet hamster that needs a bath. The stove doesn't look like it was used much at all. These burners are still clear, and this one has a minimal amount of blackness on it. The oven don't think it was ever used at all. Nice clean microwave. These are all a one-piece cast resin sink, um, which is sort of a solid surface countertop, but it does have a wood backer underneath. But this uh, this cast resin wraps all the way around, so if, if you get water on it and it lays there, it will not come apart like a lot of campers have that um, team molding on um, veneered wood, and it and it does separate. We've got a queen size bed in the back. One of the things you want to look at on these, you'll notice there's a piece of uh, Luon that's right there and it's still solid. That's important on these on these outbacks. Also the the room moving system, the tracks are still screwed in the way they should be and they're nice and straight. That's important on these. We've got an air conditioner that blows cold and a heater that blows hot. The only spot I see in the whole thing where there's even a little bit of give in the floor, and I can tell it's just because there's not a stud right underneath it, because I'm standing in the middle between the frame axle rails, is a little spot right there, and that's barely even worth mentioning. Okay, it's a